Great Lakes Tyco Center. Yes, we are the Great Lakes Taiko Center collective of Taiko groups. Um, we are so happy to be here at the Ann Arbor Summer Festival to bring you Taiko drumming today. Um, Japanese Taiko drumming is rooted in traditional Japanese music, but it is continuing to be a global cultural arts movement, and we are happy to be part of that here in Michigan, here in the Midwest. So the next song, um, our, our collective is a group of actually three different groups and we have um, members playing in this first piece today from all three groups. The piece is called Dream, which we're here to drum and dream together with you. Dream is composed by our mentor in Japan, Yamada Mizue um, from Kanazawa and Ishikawa. Next, enjoy dream.
that's coming on is T3, Tanoshi Taiko Tai. About five and a half years ago, a group of retired seniors signed up for a community education class. It was an introduction to Taiko, Japanese drumming. The teachers were Eileen and Larry from Great Lakes Taiko Center. After the first class, we were hooked. We love learning together. We love practicing together, playing together. We decided to name our group Tanoshi Taiko Tai because we were having so much fun, fun drumming team. Well, the group has expanded and we've become more of a community team, but we are all enjoying Taiko as lifelong learners. The next song you're gonna hear is called Usuzumi. It's a type of cherry blossom, a type of sakura. It's a folk song that was played first about 1400 years ago. It was a farewell song for an emperor who came to visit a small village in central Japan. And it was at the time when the cherry blossoms were in full bloom. Well, now it's not a farewell song like it was for the emperor. Now it's a festival song. And you will hear us making some vocalizations, washai, washai, as we cheer each other on. Usazumi.
Second song will be Rotation, written by Jason Matsumoto from the group OX out of Chicago. It's a contemporary song. We hope you enjoy.
Sun Arbor, thank you so much for coming to join us this evening, braving the heat and the humidity. We are so happy to be here at the top of the park to play for you tonight, to be part of the Ann Arbor Summer Festival, and to be part of the Center for Japanese Studies Japan Programming. If you're just joining us, we are happy to be showcasing three, not one, not two, but three performing groups based out of the Great Lakes Taiko Center. You just heard the Go Daiko drummers. They were great. We heard from Hiroshi Taishikai earlier. They were also fantastic. And so that I will be bringing everyone back here. But in the moment, in the meantime, I'd like to introduce our third group, Violin Taiko, Sound of Thunder Taiko. We've been the longest active at the Taiko Center, but you also, we also have the fewest members tonight. But that's okay, because our love of Taiko is still great. We are happy to be here and love what we're doing, sharing the power and the joy of the Taiko drums with you this evening. Since there's only three of us, we're going to be doing small group arrangements of three of our songs. We're going to start with a song called Raiyu, another song by our mentor in Japan and a tremendous Taiko artist, Yamada Mizue. Raiyu means gathering thunder. You might have a few here with the Raiyu, Raiyu, um, thunder, drums are kind of loud. It's a really great piece and I hope you enjoy it. Following that is a piece by Rick Shiome uh, that comes to us through Mu Daiko, the, who were based out of the Twin Cities, called Pounding Blues. That piece will uh, demonstrate another style of playing that's called Naname, well, or slant style, so you'll see us moving the drums around a little bit for that. And then to round out our set before we bring everyone back, we'll be playing a piece called 337, or San San Nana, written by one of our Rio and Paiko members, Tomo Terracado, which I'll be coming back to tell you a little bit more. In the meantime, please enjoy. Bye.
put you in the back. So the next piece we are going to play for you requires just a little bit of an explanation and maybe a little bit of audience participation. Yes, this is a song called Three Three Sana. Three Three, three Nana. No, San San Nana. Yeah, San San Nana, which is translated as Three Three Sana. It's based off of a pattern called San San Nana Byoshi which is a cheer pattern that you might hear at sporting events, baseball, and the like. And it's pretty simple. I think you might be able to handle it. So, a little straightforward. The first pattern is a set of three notes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Can I hear that? Excellent. Okay, the second pattern is also a set of three notes. One, two, three. All right. The next pattern, as you might guess, is a set of seven notes. This is where it gets tricky, all right? Seven notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent, I knew you could do it. So now we have to string these all together. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ready? Go. pattern repeat through the song so anytime you hear it feel free to join on in we love hearing the audience as much as we hear it. love hearing ourselves too. please enjoy 337 the San San Mano.
It's called Daiko, and it, the word means five big lakes. So it's basically a term that refers to the Great Lakes. The song was written by Yamada Mitsui, the same one who wrote our original uh, first song. She was commissioned to write a song specifically for our Great Lakes Taiko Center, hence the name Godaiko. Uh, when she was here in Michigan and looking at the Great Lakes, she was inspired by all the different things she would see in the lake, depending on the season, uh, depending on the weather. So it might be a nice calm day with sunshine sparkling on the water. You might see ice and snow. You might see storms and crashing waves. And so taking all these feelings together, she came up with a song called Bodaiko. You'll see that there's lots of different um, moods and emotions, different sequences and rhythms as they go through the song. It is meant to be an ensemble. Uh, played in an ensemble, as you see here, making use of several different drums. Each drummer has its own role to play, but they somehow manage to get them all coordinated so that you get a really dynamic and exciting and powerful song. It's called Godaiko, the Great Lake.
until I drew the short straw. I had to talk after that song. Um, so, thank you so much uh, for being out here. Uh, we really want to thank all of you in the audience for coming out without an audience. Uh, we don't have anywhere near as much fun as we play. Uh, we want to thank uh, Ann Arbor Summerfest for having us out. Ann Arbor Japan Week, we're part of that activity and all the sponsors uh, that brought us out here today. Really want to thank all the volunteers that are here, uh, Al and the team uh, in the sound uh, booth, uh, that helps us make just uh, sound a little bit better. The last song we want to play for you here tonight is called Mushi Okuri. It literally translates into Send Away Bugs. This is a, a traditional festival song uh, that's been played for uh, many years in Japan. It's usually played uh, in the fall, uh, and it's to, um, uh, when you hear the song, it'll be loud. Uh, where, uh, it's played to chase away pests and bugs and bring in a good harvest. It's been sort of a theme song for the Taiko Center. When we play it, we're trying to uh, chase away uh, bad luck, bad spirits, and other things that will remain nameless, uh, and bring in uh, good luck, good health, and good fortune to us all. So this is our uh, parting gift to you this evening, Ushi Okuri. tonight looks like fun, uh, please come visit us online. We teach online classes and we also teach outdoor classes here in Ann Arbor on the weekends if people are interested. So please look us up online and we hopefully we'll see many of you uh, once again the great little